In this video, we're going to do a walkthrough of the sub account feature on ProRank Academy. Now, the sub account feature is only available to enhance diverse business users. So it's only available to paid PRA accounts or diverse business PRA accounts who have done an annual needs assessment. All right. So this is a higher level feature. And this is one of the primary reasons why if you're a DBE or a diverse business that has any of the certifications that make you eligible for our assistance, that you do the survey. Because when you complete the needs assessment, you'll come in with the ability to create sub accounts like we're about to show you now. Okay. So I have an example of an individual that I would like to make a sub account of pro rank business solutions. And when I say a sub account, the whole purpose of the sub account is so that I can share things like my profile banner, static information about the company, and not okay. necessarily have to have our new users come and recreate their profile themselves, right? Or try to get all of these things right themselves. Also the exact name of the company, right? These are things that we want to bring over and give to other members of our company that are in ProRank Academy. And you might want to do that too. It's a way to make your company look organized and professional. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on this add sub account button. You'll be redirected to a page that looks like this. All right. And what you can do is just click on the add sub account button once again, and you're going to see the drop down. All right. And you'll see here uh, an option for an existing username. And this is where we would paste in the username of the individual if they're already in ProRank Academy. And underneath it says, or invite a new user to ProRank Academy by providing the information below. This is where you would create the username if they're not already on ProRank Academy, maybe first initial, last name. You would put their email, their first name, their last name, and then you could determine if you wanna send them the new member email. You could click here to share your profile banner Right. So remember that pro rank profile banner that we have. If we click here, we're going to share that with the new sub account or um, you can also share your profile data with the sub account. Then you would click submit. Then that sub account is going to get the notice. And once they accept it, then you're going to see their profile change. Right. To something that looks more like yours, like it's associated with yours. All right. So what I'm going to do is. First, we're going to go to the community and we're going to go get the profile information because the individual that we want to make a sub account is already on ProRank Academy. So that means we need to go get their username or we need to know their username. And we want to uh, use this sub account right here. We want to get Usman and we want to uh, create him. We want to turn him into a sub account here of ProRank. All right. So what I'm going to do is since he's already in ProRank Academy, I'm going to start by copying his username, all right? And then I'm going to click copy. And then what I would do is I could go back to my profile. And if you have an enhanced business profile that's either been paid for or is enhanced through your participation in the DBE Supportive Service Program or the DB Supportive Service Program, then you'll see this Add Sub Account button here. And what you would do is just click on that Add Sub Account button, scroll down, Click again to add your sub account. And this is where you would paste the name. All right. Make sure that there's no space in front of it. All right. Okay. Then what I would do is I don't need to send him a new welcome email because he's already in ProRank Academy, right? I'm going to click here to share my profile banner. And I'm going to click here to share my account information. Then I'm going to click submit. And just like that, Usman is going to get the notification. And when you have successfully submitted the request, you're going to see a message like this pop up. And Usman should get an email or a notice, new request to become a sub account, right? So this is the notice that the user is going to get when you send them the sub account request. And then if Usman just clicks on that, click here to approve becoming a sub account. Now Usman has all of the features of ProRank. He has a ProRank banner now, right? Let's scroll down and see what else your account has on it.
that has diverse owned business employee now. It has an organizational title. It has the organizational name now. It has the PennDOT ECMS status now, right? It has the view capability statement link now. Let's click on that capability statement. Scroll down a little bit. Also, it has the next codes. It has the next codes of the organization now, right? All by him just accepting that sub account request. Let's view that. Let's go back up and let's click on that view capability statement. So capability statements are shared across all of your sub accounts. You've taken the time to upload a capability statement to the parent account. Then all of your sub accounts now have a capability statement. And if you scroll down, all the way down, and you click on view parent profile, click on that view, view profile link, then we'll see that that comes back to the actual parent account that Usman is a sub account of. All right, so this is the sub account feature. This is the power of sub accounts. And this is why you want to make sure that you're doing your needs assessment every 12 months. Or if you're a non-diverse business, you want to consider at least getting a basic business membership, the ProRank Academy, or a premium business membership. This is one of the features that are included with the paid membership levels.